Listen to this. If Arsenal finish second and Manchester United finish behind them, then Manchester United have had a better season. This is That's Football. Let's get into the debate. I'm Mark Goldbridge. What a load of nonsense that statement is, by the way. But it has been raging a little bit this week on social media. Ex-players who've played the game saying that players will be happier to be in Man United's position than Arsenal's position. Well, this for me is just complete and utter crap, if I'm being honest. Uh, we're all capable of coming out with nonsense. I thought Bayern Munich would knock Man City out. You know, everybody gets things wrong. But it doesn't mean it, mean it can't be scrutinised and generate a more co a more intelligent debate. Because ultimately, I don't really care if an ex-player thinks that finishing third and winning the Carabao Cup is better than finishing second. Because it's not really about what the player thinks, is it? The player gets paid to play for the club. The fans don't get paid to watch their club. It's what fan standards are. I would rather be Arsenal legitimately fighting for a title this season than Manchester United nowhere near a title but winning the Carabao Cup. It, I don't think that's a better season. I think it's about standards. And I think it also creates this... Look, I know this because I lived in this world three or four years ago. It was all about it was all about conflict. It was all about my club's better than your club. No, no, no. And, and I think, you know, I think we do well on this community of, of moving that conversation on. Because, you know what, it's actually... It's like my granddad used to say. Winners go home with the prom queen. Very sexist in the modern day, but actually he would not have said that because he wasn't America, American and we don't get the prom, we don't get proms. But what he meant is when he was down the pub with his mates, you know, probably back in the God knows when, because uh, it's my granddad we're talking about, rest in peace. Uh, he's not doing it anymore. But basically, be down the pub with his mates and it was, you know, maybe that maybe there was a, a girl there because he was, you know, he, did, he was straight. Um, maybe there was a girl there that he wanted to you know, go home with and maybe his mates wanted to go home with or well, back in those days, probably invite them to the cinema. I, I don't know what went on in those days. But uh, anyway, you know, if everybody wanted to get a date with that girl and you didn't get a date with that girl, why are you arguing about not getting the date with the girl? Because you, you're you going for something that w wasn't what you wanted. And that's what this debate is. Arsenal, who's, who's had the better season? Arsenal or Manchester United? My, Manchester United. What are Man City doing in this game? Hold my beer. Like, Man City are, could win a treble. Man City could win the title. Everybody else is a loser. I remember Sir Alex Ferguson saying this. I remember Gary Neville saying this. At the start of the season, you want to win the league, and if you don't win the league, you're disappointed. So, this whole, my club's better than your club, Man United have had a better season than Arsenal. What? I don't care. I don't care, and I really don't think the modern fan cares either. I think those days of, my club's better than your club, the Invincibles are better than the treble. It's just it's just basic debate that a lot of a lot of outlets and a lot of communities use now because they're so far behind what, where, where the world's moving. Like, you know, we've spent a lot of time over the last 18 months praising Arsenal and what Arteta's done. I don't support Arsenal. I don't want Arsenal to win the league, but I can I can observe and watch football and respect it. I've seen a lot of Arsenal fans. And Liverpool fans, you know, begrudgingly respecting what Ten Hag's done in a year as well. That's the football debate now. This whole, oh, Man United have had a better season than you. No, no, Arsenal have had a better season than you. What? What's that? Get back in 2017 or when, whenever it was. It's just, it's just not moving the. Dip. It's just like, oh, he said, she said. You know, this. You know, I'm saying this. You're saying that. You know. Uh, these, these these sort of football wars, debates, oh, my this, that, you know, Skulls is better than Lampard. No, Gerrard's better than Lampard. You know, what, what, what does that do? You never get anywhere because ultimately, as the viewer or the listener, you're sat there going, I've lost that two minutes of my life and I've lost those brain cells because I'm not getting anything back. There is no debate. There is no real constructive conversation. This is created by somebody before they've hit record who goes, so today what we're going to talk about is basically we want to create some argument between an Arsenal fan and a Man United fan and then hopefully we can clip it up and make it go viral. And that's what it is. And it's a nonsense. It's an absolute nonsense. But let's actually have a debate on this. Will Manchester United have a better season than Arsenal if Arsenal finish second and Man United finish third but Man United win the Carabao Cup and the Europa League? It's interesting, but it's not obvious. You know, no, we've won trophies, you haven't. Oh, if I was a player, I'd be more happy. Well, depends what your levels are as a player. The reality is the Premier League and the Champions League are the benchmark in football. Man United or Arsenal cannot win the Champions League because they weren't even in it this year. 
Arsenal haven't been in the Champions League for quite a few years. Arsenal haven't been in a Premier League title race for many years. Arsenal will be in the Champions League next year and they've been in a Premier League title race and still are in one now. You're telling me Arsenal would swap that for fighting for top four and winning the Carabao Cup? Because that's what Man United are doing. It's about progress. It's about standards. It's not about looking at Man United or Man United looking at Arsenal and going, we're better than you, you're better than us. Because you're not the best. Man City are the best. And anybody who's having this argument between themselves, between Arsenal and Man United, you're, you're, low, you're low time. You know, your standards are in the bloody cellar. There's another, clear, there's another team in this game. They're in a Champions League semi-final. They're now favourites to potentially win the Premier League and the treble. And Man United and Arsenal are meant to go, no, we're better than you. No, we're better than you. No, we're better than you. Yeah, yeah, I'm better than both of you. So, you know, you two carry on arguing amongst yourself with your standards in the cellar. It's ridiculous. I thought we'd move past all this as well. I really, it really frustrates me because I just think it's just, it's idiot conversation effectively. But ultimately, if you want an answer, I'll never sit on the fence. Who's had the better season, Man United or Arsenal? Arsenal. Arsenal. Because we're speculating. You know, we're, we're walking down Lollipop Lane again, aren't we? Candy floss clouds. We're living in a fantasy. Arsenal haven't not won the title yet. They're in the title race. Right here, right now, Arsenal have had a better season than Man United because their progress is bigger. Yes, winning trophies are nice, but if Man United finish fifth, the Carabao Cup means nothing. If Man United fi finish fifth and they win the FA Cup as well, they're still not in the Champions League, Man United need to win the Europa League because that gets you into the Champions League. So in many ways, we're diminishing trophies anyway because the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup and fifth is nowhere near as good as finishing second in a title race. The only trophy that really matters is the Europa League, and not because it's silver, but because it gives you the Champions League. So, you know what? If you're going to have this debate, at least dive into it with a bit of intelligence and look at it, because I'm telling you now, third place in the Carabao Cup is not better than second place, because the only reason that's better is because you're saying silverware. But that silverware is pretty irrelevant because it doesn't give you the Champions League. Third place does and third is behind second. But more importantly, what is better? Being in a title race to the end or never being in a title race, fighting for fourth and winning cups like the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup and the Europa League. I'm sorry, standards wise, being in a title race suggests that you're one of the best teams in England. Well, it is. Being in third place fighting for top four and winning the Carabao Cup and the Europa League and the FA Cup doesn't actually say you're the best in England. It doesn't. Because the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup are nowhere near as powerful as the Premier League and the Champions League. And the Europa League, well, it, let's be honest, it's a BTEC Champions League. It's a wish version. So if you want to get all technical about it, if Arsenal finish second and miss out on the title and Man United finish third with whatever trophies they win... I've got to say, who is the better side? Arsenal. Because they've mixed it up in the bigger tournament for the longer period of time. Who's had the better season? Well, the better side is Arsenal. So technically, it's Arsenal. Who's the happier squad? That's a different thing. Because that doesn't mean you're better, and that doesn't mean you've had a better season. That just means you've won a trophy for the first time in six years. So you're going to be happy. You've progressed from your worst ever Premier League total in points, which was last year for Man United, to Champions League football and a couple of trophies. So the players are going to feel very progressively happy because they're going to go, what's coming next season? Whereas for Arsenal, who've had the better season if they fight for the title but come second and won no trophies, they've had the better season. They are the better team because a 38-game season in the toughest league in the world, let's not pretend that the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup or the Europa League are better than the Premier League now. The Premier League is the toughest tournament in the world. If Arsenal miss out on the title, they're a better team than everybody below them and they've had a better season. But of course, the disappointment will be big. And that is the only thing I would say, well, look, maybe Man United players would be feeling more positive over the summer than Arsenal players. But actually, momentarily, that might be the case. But I think when Arsenal players reflect in June, sat on the beach, I think that disappointment will quickly turn into pride, you know, pride. Because it's disappointing to, win, to not win a title. But if you offered it to me as a fan... Would I want Man United to push Man City all the way for the title or would I want us to be nowhere near a title but winning the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the Europa League and coming third? 
I'd rather we push for the title because that's the standard. And over the summer, I'd go, we pushed them so close. We know we're close. Next season, once the disappointment's over, you realise, you're galvanised, you add a couple of players and you believe next season. Man United next season, we can't believe we're going to win the league next year. We've not been in a league title. Arsenal can believe they're going to win it. What they do over the summer will dictate that. But I think it's ridiculous. I, I do, I really do. But I'm interested to see your comments because I don't think everyone will necessarily agree with me. Um, but I don't care what an ex-player thinks about I'm the happier player if I come third and have won a trophy over finishing second. Well, your standards must be in the floor, on the floor, mate. You know, the better season is to compete for the title. There's always an element of risk. You can't win them all. But God, the progress for Arsenal this season from most of us not putting them in the top four to being the best team in the league up until a, a week or two ago. And now they're still in a title race. Come on. Right here, right now, even as a United fan, I can see what's going on. And ultimately, I just think it's a bit sad. Man United and Arsenal fans arguing about who's better while Man City are potentially going to win a treble. That's that's just... It, 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 it doesn't... It just cre it creates this content which I was glad to move away from a few years ago where, you know, my club's better than your club. Let's have a debate about this. It's basically two idiots who are locked in on pride having an argument they can't win where they'll only win it with people who have the same mentality as them and them. And actually, I think football fandom is moving on. I think, you know, the intelligent debate is actually here, not on mainstream. You see mainstream going out after a game now, getting a local you know, YouTuber to talk about their club. I've seen it happen over the weekend, and I think, well, that's the same, because that YouTuber's diluting their content straight away, because they're going, oh, great result for such and such today, but you know, the week before they were going, get rid of this player, he's absolutely shit, he's not good enough, but they're not going to do that on mainstreams. Dilution. Dilution and manipulation and script. That's, that's basically this sort of content. Um, when actually, I think we, what we want to do is go, look, why are we arguing about who's had the better season when Man City win the league? <laughs> like, Man City have had the best season if they win the league. Everybody else is a loser. There's different levels of loser, but I don't want to debate Arsenal about who's had the better season if Man United and Arsenal don't win the league. Because ultimately, the best season will be Man City's because they've won the best, biggest prize. Get your comments in below. Smash the like on the video. Speak to you on the next one.